we had uh, an intergovernmental committee session, which is the equivalent of a, a binational commission, um, where different sectors, different uh, ministries, departments, and uh, agencies have been engaging, and that meeting was the crescendo of uh, the, the entire collaborative uh, exercise. So it was very productive. So what do you take away from that now? Uh, more investments mm -hmm. from China to Nigeria. There are quite a number of um, projects under the, the FOCAC, the Forum for China-Africa uh, Cooperation, which is part of the Belt and Road Initiative. So more infrastructure proje uh, projects, which is what we need. Uh, there are already quite a number of ongoing um, infrastructure projects. There are some that have not commenced, rail, uh, electricity, roads, uh, ports, you name it. What does need investment right now from China in your country? Well, as I said, infrastructure, because it creates jobs immediately. And then we have special economic zones uh, where Chinese companies are participating. We need to stop exporting raw lithium, we need to see it refined. We are already in, uh, in the middle of Nigeria, Nasarawa state, we've seen an uh, example quite recently where a Chinese group uh, invested in, uh, in metals processing. So that's what we need to see more of. And we want to see the entire electric vehicle value chain established in Nigeria. And Elon Musk hit a snag in your country because of that very rule, right? Absolutely. Yes, and so I just want to um, point out that you have seen $300 million worth of Chinese investment in lithium processing capacity. Um, that is coming from China because now they are processing that lithium in your country. So are we going to see more of that? And how is that transforming the industry in Nigeria? It will create more jobs. Uh, and then along the value chain also, they, it would give investors more confidence to set up assembly plants for electric vehicles and ultimately to produce electric vehicles from Nigeria. And uh, we have to uh, bear in mind that uh, Nigeria provides the entry point to the African continental free trade area. And of course, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been do doing a lot of reforms, macroeconomic reforms. Um, even in the electric electricity sector, we have the Electricity Act, which uh, makes it easier for investors to invest in the different segments of, uh, of the electricity um, uh, sector. So distribution, transmission, um, generation, uh, it's all much easier and with lots of incentives.